And welcome to Top of the Fifth Wall, where bad comics burn. I'm your host, insert funny name here. Anyway, now there's a lot of comic books out there. Back in the 90s, I wasn't the kind of person that read comics. Now occasionally I would read a comic that sparked my interest. Such as the Watchmen comics, or the Batman, even some of the obscure comics, like The Adventures of Nightclaw. But I'm going to look at a book that has Rob Liefeld-inspired artwork, and this was released by Image Comics, a comic company that wanted to escape the fame of DC and Marvel and any other popular comic books out of the time to find its own light. Well, anyway, they completely failed at that with the comic book that's only known as Cyber Force Number 1. Now, first off, if the cameraman can please zoom in on the cover. This, right. Now, anyway, this cover looks crazy. I mean, first we got this guy who looks like the Incredible Hulk ripoff. And look at him, he's huge! And then we have this guy that looks like Cyborg from Teen Titans. And then we have... Hello. Um, no comment for this one. But anyway, let's take a look into the first page. Okay. Now, if the cameraman can please come close. That's it, close, close. Way too close, way too close. Oh, it's going to eat me. Now, we open up on a backstory. Oh, this is just perfect. Now, let's see. I can't see without these glasses on, so let's see. All right, we open on a girl, on the main hot girl saying, You, you are a great warrior. Wait a minute. No, it's that one guy. Oh, he mistaked her for Wonder Woman, the real great warrior. <laughs> okay, because Wonder Woman is great. Never mind, let's just move along. Now, anyway, this nerdy guy who looks like Billy from from Power Rangers says, This is too much for me to take. I saw myself die today. Only yesterday I was home playing video games. And then I was playing Call of Duty with my friends, but you get the picture. And then we have this night guy say, Yesterday you were... What? Fifth? Five hundred and sixty years in the future? Wait, what? Did I accidentally pick up another issue instead of a number one? Anyway, he goes on to say that I understood how all this can be disturbing for you, Chip. But you've got to get a hold of yourself. I really suck when it comes to reading comic books when we're improving the whole thing, but either way, you get the picture. So, blah, 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 he goes on to say you're the chosen one and some other stuff, and you have to defeat the main villain, Krugan, in order to receive the quickening. Moving right along to the more gritty stuff, we have a- Holy crap, what is that? It looks like the Green Goblin all decked out, man. And then we have this- Oh my gosh, look at his face, man. The artwork is coming right for us! Back in cover! Uh, anyway. <laughs> I got one thing to take care of this. The doc... The laser... This toy does... Okay, I'll get back to this later. Anyway. As we find out that he goes on to say, Your primitive weapons of your time are useless! Because I am Cobra Commander! Anyway, we move on to the next panel, and we have his best, uh, I'm a Marion face, while screaming, Cyblade, help him or teach this! <laughs> As if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, one of the warriors dies. They end up killing him by blowing off his brains and releasing some pink blood. Cameraman, are you getting that? Does that look like pink blood to you? Tell me, is that pink blood? Just look at that, man. It's pink blood. I mean, jeez. Well, let's move right along to the next page. Maybe it's not as bad. And Oh, look. It's an advertisement for what's deemed as create the hottest crossover from... for the. I, I suck when it comes to reading this, don't I? of the year, which is Cyblade. What? What's that word? Shy. Shy. Special issue one of two. 
Okay, apparently this comic likes to advertise porno. Anyway, moving right along, we go into a corridor, corridor and we see the main Billy going crazy and what looks like he's about to slap her. It's like, are you both crazy? We could destroy everything! Apparently he took some lessons from Superboy Prime. I'll kill you! I'll kill you to death! Well, anyway, then he finally comes to his senses and says, We just traveled back in time. That they just traveled back in time and they can't destroy history and blah, 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 whatever. Time paradoxes and loops. Anyway, moving on to the more gritty stuff. And for no apparent reason, she punches him out. I mean, jeez, you don't cross this chick. And they move along to Storm Corridor while they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Huh. Dungeons and Dragons. Am I right, cameraman? Well, anyway, they go past more stone corridors, and then they come to a certain realization. Not magic. Technology. Alien technology. I knew it! Wait. We knew that from the beginning, anyway. And yes, I knew you got in a shot, cameraman. This is all going to be edited. And I think we should leave that part in, too. Anyway. Okay. Well, if you thought the comic was over, well, be disappointed. Because now we move on to Chapter 2. Which has this other hero, which might enter the comic book. Which I mentioned before looked like the Teen Titan ripoff. Well, let's move along, right along to the next panel. The next panel shows the Hulk guy in metal clothing, clothing just waking up. Saying, hey guys, over here. Look what I found. I found the new episode to Starship Troopers. Wait, that joke didn't make any sense at all. Anyway, uh, he's hanging out with his groups of friends with uh, what looks like a poison ivy ripoff. And we find the dead body of, the, of one of the aliens that was destroyed earlier. Wait, what? Where in the universe does this take place in? Either way, moving right along, we find uh, more boring stuff. Just more exposition, exposition, blah, blah, blah. Moving right along, game boring. Let's move on. Uh, let's just skip to the end. I mean, this comic book is already bad enough. Uh, let's see. Let me find it. Okay, it all ends on this girl who we don't know... For whatever reason, but yet she's wearing really a really skimpy outfit. What is with the combo creators and designing women's clothing? It's like, potentially, they want young comic book readers to look at the girls instead of actually look at the good story and characterization development and actually the nice-looking artwork. But anyway, that's just me and my views. Well, we find out that there's this big ogre-like guy that says... You have what you are what I've been looking for for a long time. Well, apparently this guy's bad at dating. And her last lines are Hey, Brad It It can't can't we discuss Oh my god. What the hell is this place? Home. Huh. Well apparently a home looks like well it looks like a comfy place despite all the main torture goblins. And the slaves that they have. So, anyway, it's a top-notch place. Just don't ask Bill O'Reilly or Obama to visit there. <laughs> Boy, that would be terrible. Anyway, that's how the comic book ends. And ends with her... Whoa, hold on, I was wrong. It actually ends with her making the crazy green goblin look. And it ends on a to, to be continued. Okay. Well, let have, let's have the cameraman finish this one shot. You had to stand up. You had to stand up. Back to where I was. Okay, in short, this comic sucks! You know, this comic is beyond terrible. It's got a bad story, and I thought I really picked up an issue one when this is actually probably an issue three or whatever. There's only one thing to do with this comic, and that's right. We have to throw it out. Follow me! Moving on along. I just have to say this. Okay, Crazy Steve, start the car. Start and.
and now. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What's your problem, dude? You're just running over a comic. Yeah, we're running over a comic. It's part of a spoof. I mean, come on, man. What's wrong with running over a comic? It's messed up. Hey, stop filming me. What? What's wrong with you, man? Why do you got a hand growing out of your face? Shut up. Stop filming Dude, me. you got a freaking hand face. Dude. I mean, come on. It's not like I hey. said the word retarded or anything. That's low. What's low? What's low? What What did I say? Wait, where are you going? Come back here. That's it. I'm going to kick your butt. Come back here. Come back here. Wait, hold on. I got an idea. That's it. Crazy Steve, hold on to the camera. I know what to do. It's laser screwdriver, mother! Well, yeah. Okay. You see, this is what's wrong with our world today. Comic books aren't just what they used to be. They used to be really good comics and good comic book reviewers like Lean Car. Oh my god! <laughs> my kidney! My kidney! Crazy Steve, get the comic! That, that's it, man. You're, I'm going to report you, man. You're on candy camera right now. Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! Come back! Oh, oh my fattening diet doesn't allow me to run too fast. Wow, Bob was getting. Hey, do not talk about Obama. This is YouTube. This is YouTube. And we'll be right back to our regular scheduled program. Gay boy, Stevie. That's right. It's me. Gonna review comics. With a laser screwdriver. Available at Amazon.com.